I thought that I wouldn't succumb to this trend, but we're here. There's a trend going around booktube right now where certain people or things or events choose your TBR. I'm a pretty big fan of read what I want to, so I didn't necessarily intend on doing one of these videos because it's like schoolwork. I'll read a book any day, all day, but as soon as someone tells me, hey, you should read that book, I'm like, <laughs> No. So I don't know how useful that would be for me to have someone else choose my TBR. But then Mahana really just raised the stakes and made me realize that I have a civic duty to do this video because I own goats. My best friend Bonnie did a video like this where she did my dog chooses my TBR, which is great and I'm not trying to one up her. But I am gonna one-up her. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but goats like to nibble. Especially when you bring a book into their vicinity, they're like, oh, I'm gonna nibble that. And I wish I was joking so much. So many books have succumbed to the nibble. Today, I thought it would be Zet and Felicent if I brought some books to them and made them choose between two of them and see which one they nibble indicating that I should read it first. So basically the format of today's video is I'm gonna go outside where it's hot and where I'm gonna sweat off all my makeup. I'm gonna display two books to my goats and whichever one they nibble is the one I'll choose. I don't know if this is gonna work. What if they don't nibble? So before we go outside, I'm gonna show you the books they're gonna be choosing between. So for my June TBR, I have four categories or competitions going on. The two books they'll choose between first is Children of Blood and Bone and The Goldfinch. Very different books, but also just large hardbacks. <laughs> two poetry books, Why God is a Woman and Life on Mars. Two romance books, so Roomies or Ash. Different genres, but still should be cutesy. Then some literary fiction, so we've got either The Secret History or A Thousand Splendid Sons. And finally, just random, so we've got Circe and Tipping the Velvet. This one's shiny and this one's soft, so I thought that these would be very enticing. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna bring you outside and we're gonna see the goats destroy my books. <laughs> Ooh, Gemma's asleep, look at her. She's taking a nap. God, I wish that were me, not JPEG. <laughs> Hi, Winston, whose name I didn't choose and fills me with sadness every day. Hi, Scarlett. Um, the life I wanna live. Hi, goats, goats. Who's ready to eat some books? I know you love eating books, are you gonna eat some? Don't eat my camera. Ollie says he will eat some books too. What are you doing? Hi, beautiful. All right, kids, you ready? <laughs> Literally, because y'all are kids. <laughs> Let's go to the shade. Bye, Ollie. Okay, we have stumps on the ground, so I'm thinking the game plan is put books on the stump and see which one they nibble first. Are you ready to get your nibble on, sir? Yes, we love nibbling. The other one just peed. Beautiful content. I think this is gonna be our main culprit. Sorry, I'll get my hair out of your face. This is Junior. He's the sweetest goat, and he loves to nibble. So yes, I do nibble all the time. Okay, how's this, bud? Is this a good angle for everyone? I think this is going to be the angle we do. Huh, you want to nibble some books? Don't eat my tripod. Hey, ma'am, if you knock this over, it's done. You're buying me a new camera. Don't eat my hair. We're not even started yet, sir. Okay. So the first books, hi. The first books we're choosing, stop pooping right in front of the camera. You're rude. The first books we're choosing are Ash or Roomies. Sir, you're on our tables. I'm here, get off. Nibble one of them. Roomies? You want to nibble roomies? Nibble one! Oh, you're gonna put your foot on it now? Which one? Oh, you're in the shot, bud. I think roomies won because he put his mouth on it and then he put his foot on it. So I think that was the choice. I think from now on, I'm gonna have to hold them out to him physically. Otherwise, he's not gonna be interested. Please stop chewing my watch. Okay, so now we have A Thousand Splendid Sons or The Secret History. Which one? Which one you want to nibble first? The secret history? Okay, thank you, sir. Did you see the nibble? He nibbled the secret history. Okay, now it's time for poetry. So we've got Life on Earth or Why God is a Woman. Stop chewing my watch. We're gonna move over here so we're not backlit. Nibble one. Yeah, smells good. Which one smells good? Goat! He's not participating. Look at those pages, they're so delicious. You were sniffing this one, do you want this one? 
What if I pretend to read it like this? Will you get in my face then? Oh, look at those poems. He said, we're running out of steam very quickly. I don't think they know what they want. Will you help me? I need you to help me. I don't know what to read. I never learned how. Which one? Choose one. You want this one? You keep snipping it. You like blue? I think we're gonna have to go with this one. But we're gonna run out of steam by the time we get to the last books. You gotta start choosing. What about these? You like either of these? Like this one? What about this one? You like this one? Which one do you like? Nibble one. They're delicious. They're paper. You like that. You like this one more? You want this one? What about this one? This one? <laughs> I think he likes this one more. Okay, final round, bud. Give me something. One of these. We got a shiny one. I know you like shiny stuff. Yeah, look at that. Is that shiny or what? Come back. Look, this one's soft. You like soft stuff too. Okay, new test. If I'm holding one in each hand, which one does he want to eat first? Junior, which one? Which one? You want to nibble one? How come every time I come to read out here, you want to eat my book, and now when I need you to eat my book, you won't eat my book? Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Which one should I choose? You want to choose the last one? Which one do you like more? Which one? You can't see out of this eye, so that kind of doesn't count. Which one? You like the shiny one? Thanks for helping, bud. Okay, well, that wasn't very helpful. I basically had to choose them myself. It's okay. I give you a kiss. Can I give you a kiss? He said no. Are you a good boy? Oh yes, sir. I love chewing your watch, but I won't chew your books when you need my help. Say no, that's too hard. Okay, I will join you back inside so we can talk about my TBR once this man gets out of my face. Huh, yes, sir. I just want to eat your hair. <sighs> Rude. You are too good boy. Stop. Huh, so now you're interested in the books. What's in there? They're the same ones I offered to you that you refused to nibble. Thank you, sir, for your help. I would shake your hand. You do not have them. Oh, look at him itch his face. Beautiful, powerful product. Thank you for your help, Mr. Ollie. I'm going in the air conditioning, which y'all don't know about because you're farm animals, but it's a real good time. I'm still sweating, so pardon me. Based on my goat's choices and one from a horse, had to phone a friend, I'm going to be reading Circe by Madeline Miller, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, Why God is a Woman by Nan Andrews, The Secret History by Donna Tartt, and Roomies by Lauren Oliver. Shout out to Junior the Goat who loves to nibble things, but didn't nibble very much today. He just did a lot of nose pointing. <laughs> this video was stupid, thank you for commenting, but let me know if you like those books and if my goats made the good decision, if I should do more goat vlogs. I hope you all are having a wonderful life. Thank you for watching, goodbye.